going on guys so today is a little bit of a different video and i know i always say that but if you're wondering why i'm posting so much now it's because uh, uh i haven't posted in like two weeks since my uh what was the last video that i did not the red tricks but the one before that i think it was how to 180 or something before that. So, yeah, I haven't posted in a good amount of time. So I'm trying to make it up to you. I might make a Christmas video. It depends. It won't be like a video of me actually just skating out in the garage, maybe opening some skate stuff, because I know I might be getting a couple skate stuff for Christmas. That didn't make any sense, a couple skate stuff. I might be getting a couple skate stuff. <laughs> oh, and I'm trying to figure something out. So, I've been calling this a backside half cap my entire life. Is that a backside half cap? Because all it is is you're moving fakie and you're doing a backside with lady. But then people are calling a fakie front side or a front side half cap, a back side half cap, which I don't get. Because you can clearly see that it's front side. Because even if, wait. Yeah, even if you flip that around, that, even if you translate it to regular, it's still a front side. And that's yellow back. So I don't really understand what people are trying to do. But today in this video, I'm going to be making an updated video because I know on like my eighth video or something, that video, my last video, well, that was my eighth video. My eight, on my eighth video, I did a how to 50 50 grind. Well, at that time, I couldn't actually do it and lock on to any of the grinds, and I could barely ollie onto anything. Well, now I can ollie onto an actual ledge that's like that tall. But here, we have an even smaller surface to teach you guys how to do this. So, we're just going to be going into the. Wow. That was good. We're just gonna be going into the basics. We're not gonna be like doing any feebles or tail stalls or anything. The only things I'm gonna do are 50-50 and Smith, because Smith is just like a 50-50, except you go a little bit more forward on the ledge. Not like that, but let's replicate it real quick. Just like that. But then a 50-50 is just two five O's. Boom. Smith, 50-50. So yeah. First with the 50-50, it should look like if that that's the front side. I might be able to do back side. I haven't tried in like some time. Nope. I might learn back side. But this main focus is on the front side, so if you're learning backside, go check out another channel. Just do how to backside 50-50. Oh my gosh. I know how to like ollie up into almost any grind or slide. Let's see. Except for no slide. Yeah, no. But almost any. So the first step is gonna be able to be, wait, what? I can't talk. To be able to ollie as high, or maybe even higher. Oh my gosh, I have to get back. High or higher than your object. Way higher, this is, trust me, really tiny. It's this tiny. So, start off with a small object, 
This doesn't have any run up at all. The run up is from here to here. Not at all. Nope, no run up at all. We might transition to the other one, it depends. But then all you're gonna have to do is either ollie like barely make it onto it, like, like that. Or you could ollie above it and then land on top of it. Cause my friend, he goes forward and then he like pushes into it like that. When I do it, I go way above it and then I just land on it. I don't think any way is better, but there's some pros and cons cause my way, you lose a little bit of momentum because you're going super high, going fast, and then that immediately just stops it. And this, you could possibly hit it like that, land primo, and die. So yeah, either way isn't really better. And then you're just going to want to ollie normally, but jump forward just a little bit. Uh, make sure you do a couple tests before you do it, because when I used to do it, I used to put my board this close to it. Look. My hand is half on the board, half on the curb. And then sometimes when I do it, the bolt would scrape against it. That's why it's like shot or whatever and I now can't take it off or it's stripped. So now I can't flip around my wheels. So stay a safe distance away from it. Do a couple tests with your hands. Make sure it wouldn't do it both ways. I'd recommend starting off with just ollieing above it, non-moving like my way and then my friend's way once you're moving. Cause this way, it looks like my way would look like I go really high, I slam onto it, and then it starts going. So I'm going to demonstrate mine. I probably need my wax for this, but who cares? I'll just try it without wax. And if I need wax, then I won't do it. I'll just come back to this curve. We're going all the way around the house to the back, so I can do it in the back. Hmm? Okay. And I'm heading into the back. Yes. Also, have pizza. Twice. Okay. The coat and your hoodie here. So, yeah. See those? Mm -hmm. I meant to leave it here. Right. Oh, just my grandpa. He's leaving to Sam's. Oh, wow. My nose is red. Good thing it's like 80 degrees back here. Woohoo. My grandpa's just heading to get pizza at Sam's. It's way warmer back here. It's really sunny. This is bringing me flashbacks to when I had my soapy wax and everything. Oh my gosh, I feel like it's gonna fall. I have no idea if you can even see. I'm gonna do a couple test rounds. Okay, that definitely slides. But I have no idea if you can see, like if it's too bright or anything. Oh my gosh, no, 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 no. I hit a crack in the ground because if you see, the ground isn't like the super smooth ground, it's like bumpy. Okay, yeah, I definitely got that. Oh, wow. But, uh, this is one of the tricks where you have to scrape properly. Like, ollieing down a stair set, you don't really s scrape because if you do, you over scrape. But with this, with this, you actually have to level out your board. Unless you're doing a 5 0, which I'm going to try doing, which I need to go get closer for. All right. That was like a blunt mix with the 5-0. Not fun. You get the picture though. You don't scrape on this. But on any other one, you just want to ollie normally. Except not bad like that one. 
And remember, this is an updated version because last time I did it, I could only get on top of it sometimes. Oh, I got on top of it on top of it. I need to take off my hoodie. It's actually hot outside. Also, last time I did this, I had to have my boot like an inch away. Now, I could probably do it from here. Actually, right here. This is like a foot away. Oh. All right. I'm going to try this a couple more times and get to the few things that you can do with it. All right. So, for front sides, I wouldn't... Actually, I would consider this front side. You could either do it where you're just jumping forwards into the grind, or like, so you you won't grind the entire thing. You'll start about like right here, and then grind. Or you could start all the way at the beginning, jump over right to the start, and then land and grind the entire thing. So, yeah, I'd consider both of those front side because back side is where you have to jump back. Wait, no, that would be gnarly. You'd have to jump backwards to get onto it. So yeah, I'd consider it like that. What I mean is you just ollie right at the start instead of like in front of it, like right where it starts. I can't do it right where it starts really because I just don't like ollieing onto things unless it's like a grind. Alright, I'll ollie onto it one more time. Whenever I stand whenever I stand far away, I ollie onto the entire thing. Oh great. Two stair alert. This backyard is kinda like a skate park now that I think of it. It has two ledges right there and right here. It has or no, it has two three ledges actually this is more like a let me show you but I wouldn't recommend doing anything on it that brick part right there and then we have this great ledge and then another ledge over there and we have a few stair and some curves so, yeah I'm pretty much at a skate park and a lot of flat ground way better than it did before. <sighs> I've always wanted to try a fakey ollie onto it into a 50-50, but like, no. Because like the ground, I wish it was changed into like pavement. Right now the ground is just bricks that were just put in. So yeah, it's a little weirder. Oh, that slid throughout the entire thing. That was pretty good. Oh, no grind. I mean not nose grind. Crooked. I'll try another grind other than a 50-50. Maybe like 5-0. Possibly. Nope, I don't like 5 holes. Watch this guy's pro trick right here. I wasn't even trying to do that. I was trying to do a no stall. Wow, I'm still not very good. I need to practice a little. What 
eventually I'll get it like way better. Cause now like the ground might be the ground. Cause honestly I'm way better at this ledge spot that I have near my house. And I'm better just alling up to it without moving. Like you just saw my one without moving. Now let's do one while moving. See, I like. Wow. Okay, guys. Hope you like this video. I'm really sweaty right now. Because in the front, it's like 20 degrees. And back here, it's like sunny and 80. So might as well stay back here for the rest of my life. Because... Christmas is in three days. Christmas Eve is in two. Have a Merry Christmas and goodbye.